Hello. Okay, next video. We've done elimination method. Now we're going to look about, talk about the substitution method. Okay, again, this is EZ or easy if you're from the USA. Okay, so again, here's the set of equations. We'll say solve the equation, meaning you're looking for a point. You need to find an x, you need to find an o a y that both, it'll satisfy both equations to make them both true, as you saw in the last couple videos. How do you do this? Well, no stretch from what we already know. First thing we already know, what does substitution mean? It means you substitute. I'll, I'll give you an example. If you had something like this, 5x plus 1 equals 11, but you knew it was given to you already that, uh, let's say, x equals 2. Okay, how about this? Unknown value. If 5x plus 1 equals something we didn't know, but it was already given to us that x equals 2, we would say we're going to substitute this 2 in place of x and get like this. And then we'll be able to solve our mystery question box of mystery. Okay. And what this would be is simply, well, 10 plus 1. This would be 11. Okay. Easy to solve. We take an x equals whatever, and we substitute it in place of x. Likewise, if this was y, and you knew that y equals 2, well, whatever, whatever y equals, you would put y in there. It could be anything. Okay. You substitute it. Same thing here. Here's our steps. Okay? Take the easiest looking equation. Always with the shortcut easiest way. Take the easiest looking equation and put it in terms of x or y equals whatever else is out there. I think the first one looks easier. So let's do this. 3x plus y equals 2. I'm going to, if I bring this to the other side, I get y equals 2 minus 3x. Better yet, minus 3x plus 2. That way, in case I need to know, it's in y equals nx plus b format. Just kind of a back pocket thing. Okay, so that's the first one. So this is what y equals. This entire thing. Okay? We're already done step one. Okay? And I mean, this is this was grade 7 stuff. Okay? Next one. Put it into the other equation. Well, here's the other equation. So let's look at this here. Instead of y, instead of the letter y here, we're going to put in this, this thing, whatever ugly mess it turns to be. And it could get ugly, I'm just telling you. Instead of y, I'm putting in what y equals. All right, now this whittles down to being a simple grade 9 bedness kind of problem here. 2x plus negative 15x plus 10 equals 23. Okay, let's not be silly here. Adding a negative is the same as saying minus, okay? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We want to get x by itself because that's a, we already know what y equals. If we're putting y, we're going to get x by itself. So let's do our, let's do our magic here. Uh, 2 minus 15, so that's minus 13x plus 10 equals 23. Get rid of this. Grade 7 math stuff. Minus 13. X equals 13. Oh, look at that. Isn't that convenient? Aha. Divide by minus 13. I get X equals negative 1. Okay. So, so far, I have X is minus 1 and Y equals this mess with an X in it. This isn't good enough. We're looking for an X, Y coordinate. So, we have our x, we don't have our, we, we have y equals something, but it's not good enough for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this identical to the elimination method. We took this and we subbed it back into the easiest looking equation of however many you have. Um, this is the easiest looking one in my opinion. You can try it with the other one. Let's see. 3, x is minus 1, 3 times negative 1 plus y equals 2. Okay, so negative 3 plus y equals 2. I'll add 3 to both sides. y equals 5. So I get a point, my xy point looks like this, negative 1 and 5. Okay, this is the solution point for these two equations. Okay, 
So however these equations line up, and remember, the x exponent is 1. We don't write it there, but if it's not written, it's implied to be a 1, which means it's a straight line. Okay? Back pocket info. Remember, x squared is a parabola. x cubed is something that looks like this. But an x to the 1 is a straight line. Straight line. Okay. Our solution point is right here. Not minus 1 and 5. Now, what does that mean? We can put that solution point into both equations, and it'll work out. So let's try it out. Better darn well work. 3 minus 1 plus 5, does that equal 2? Okay, minus 3 plus 5 equals 2. 2 equals 2. It works out in the first equation. We're on fire. Second one, let's try it out. 2 times minus 1 plus 5 times 5. Does that equal 23? Well, minus 2 plus 25. Does that equal 23? This 23 clearly equals 23. It checks out. That means we have double checked to know that our solution point, the solution of this system of equations, is in fact minus 1 and 5. So, of course, this is all the work you're going to show on your exams or homework. You got to end up with your final statement for full marks. The solution of the given equations is minus one and five. Ta-da! I'm so happy you're learning this for me.